What's going on, everybody? This is Sean Fink reporting live from historic Richmond Town for the Richmond County Fair 2011. This is PISP TV, and we are coming in hot. We are going to be here all weekend interviewing a lot of the guests that are here at the Richmond County Fair, including a lot of our vendors. Partners in Sound is here, of course. And we got so much going on. We have a lot of rides. We have a lot of entertainment, great bands. Pro Show Productions is here providing all of the sound and it's gonna be a great weekend. Hopefully the weather holds up. We're gonna keep you locked in here at Historic Richmond Town for the Richmond County Fair 2011. Everybody this too. is PISP TV. two minutes. Anything else I'm missing? They're gonna be no, that's it. Here, that's the rule. You have two minutes. The EMT is here. You have all your fans. Now, in order for them to start, you guys gotta make some noise for coming out today. Make some noise right now. There we go, that's what I like to hear. All right, so while they're doing this, if any of your family members, friends are up here, you gotta cheer them on, all right? You guys ready? You guys ready? Deep breath. She's like, I'm gonna eat one. All right. You guys ready? One, two, three, eat! a lot of fun uh hold on i'm trying to spin all right so we're gonna have a great day today <laughs> my cameraman brandon is trying to spin but it's not working try to spin we like to have fun too um vinny c's rocking out with some freestyle he's djing along with one of our new dancers joey we're gonna keep you entertained all well this is it doesn't go too fast uh all day here at the richmond county fair we got a lot of great bands there's a lot going on so this is pisp tv sean fink spinning his way out and uh, we'll keep you locked in with more in a little bit. Two hours, 
Again, Sean reporting here from the Richmond County Fair, standing next to Danielle, Dante, and JV, who just performed about 15 minutes ago. I'm trying to think of the time. It's a really hot out. So, Danielle, why don't you uh, tell me a little bit about what kind of music you do? And I know you mentioned something that you just opened up for somebody pretty big at Six Flags. So why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Um, I sing pop dance, JV raps. And um, we just recently opened up for Mike Posner for his VMA MTV tour. And we had a lot of fun with that. It was really fun. All right, very nice, very nice. So what kind of songs did you sing today? And did you, I saw you had your dancers here. They were looking pretty good. So how long have you how long have you been singing and performing for? I've actually been I've been singing since I came out. Yeah, no one could ever shut me up. I don't know about you, no one ever shut me up. But I've actually been professionally singing since I was nine. The songs that I, we sang today were um, originals. They're available on iTunes or Amazon. You can go check those out as well. Daniel Dante, go search All right, very nice. And what about you? How long have you been rapping? Because you sound really good. I gotta say, so how long? Um, about two years. I started in like 10th grade, and uh, I've just been going at it ever since. All right, now if you don't want me asking, how old are you? I just turned 18 a few days ago. Really? I'm 18, and also I asked him before he's 18. So you guys are young. You got plenty of time, you're doing big things, but that's it. Thank you, Danielle. Thank you, JV. And that's it. This is PISP TV. You slipped a pedal. I know you have this trick on lock, man. Let's see what baby Keaton has for you. Big horse pin to turn down. What's going on? This is Sean reporting live from the Richmond County Fair 2011. This is PISP TV, and I am standing here with the owner of Dialed Action Sports. And I was watching the show before, and the show is amazing. Do you want to explain exactly what you guys do? A little something? Because we actually got some footage before, and you guys are great. So you want to explain a little bit about what Dialed Up is? You want to explain? Sure. Well, we, uh, we provide entertainment. We, uh, we're a professional BMX stunt show. We have four shows here today. Three yesterday and three tomorrow. About a half an hour show each. We have three guys, uh, one announcer, and uh, we travel all around the country, you know, fairs, festivals, car shows, and provide entertainment for uh, different sources, really. All right, I want to ask you a question. Uh, when did you start? Start the team or start? Start riding. I started riding be like BMX was about 14 years ago. What age was that? If you don't mind me asking. No, I was, uh, I was 16 years old when I started riding a bike. All right, and you're from Pennsylvania, right? Yes, sir. All right, so why don't we grab some of the guys? They look like they're having a good time. Why don't we grab some of the guys over here? Yeah, let's grab him over here. Did you start riding? Uh, Jesus, probably uh, about 15. So and how old are you now, if you don't mind me asking? 28. So you've been riding for a while, yeah. and you like it? Love it. You love it? Yeah, All right. Going to a regular job. All right, now I want to ask a serious question. Yeah. Have you ever gotten seriously hurt doing any tricks? Yeah, you want the list? Don't get me give me give me a main one, something that happened. Broke my back. Broke your back. Compression fracture in one of my vertebrae. Now I got four irregular discs. And you're still riding fine. You're doing all your tricks. Yeah, yeah. All right, very cool. All right, well, thank you. And this is the this is the youngest one over here, right? All right, Keith, come on over. Keith, how how old are you? I'm 22 years old. All right, and how long have you been riding? I've been riding for six or seven years. All right, and you like it? What's that? You like it? Oh, yeah, I love it. All right, cool. And I saw you doing some pretty cool tricks. Now, I got to ask both of you. You're not scared at all when he was jumping over you with the chair? Do you get nervous at all that the tire might hit you at all? Well, I mean, we are trained professionals, and I totally trust Brian. But, you know, there always is that risk factor, and I'm willing to deal with it. Uh, I'm hoping I catch it quick enough. Maybe I can jump out of the way. But uh, if not, I'm pretty sure that Brian has it under control. All right, now, how do you... He is wearing a helmet. 
All right, now how do you judge that? How do you judge your jumps usually? How, what do you go by? Do you go by the distance you have to go down with the bike? How do you usually, I'm not a professional, so you can tell me. Well, I mean, every trick we do, we basically uh, base it on how much speed we have and uh, experience. So like, I see how high I have to jump, and I judge the amount of speed I have to get. And then like, kind of jump off the ramp with the speed I have, or clear, clear right over. So it's just a matter of speed and distance. All right, cool. And I also like the trick that you did when you laid down. You laid down. I don't know why you laid down, because I thought you were going to get hit first. So you would have been the first one. You guys want to show us like a couple things real quick? All right, go ahead. We're going to watch him. So we got Josh and Keith, right? All right, so let's do. Let's uh, film them doing a little something. This is Sean reporting live from PISP TV at the Richmond County Fair. Let's watch him do some stuff. Reporting live from historic Richmond Town for PISP TV here at the 2011 Richmond County Fair. Right next to me is one of my main pro show guys, Cousin Vinny. Cuz, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing fine. Now, besides this event, which is great that you guys do every year, what's going on for Bikers for Babies this year? Anything cool we should know about? Uh, we have Lou Graham, the voice of, uh, the voice of Foreigner. Uh, the date's been changed October 2nd. Uh, we have the Monster Trucks going to be there. We have Chris Jericho doing a meet and greet. Uh, we're also raffling off a 2011 Harley Davidson or $10,000 cash. And it's just a great event. It's all about the kids. You know, 100% of the money goes to March of Dimes. And uh, it's family friendly, kid friendly. And that's pretty much about it. All right, sounds good. Thank you so much, Cuz, and uh, enjoy yourself. You just finished the hot dog eating contest. You did pretty good. And he ate before that, too. This is uh, Sean Fink and Cousin Vinny for PISP-TV, and uh, we'll check in with you guys a little bit later. 